Introducing Better Than Ever Tools Complete Drywall Tape Application System Training Video. The most efficient, cost-effective method of applying drywall tape in the industry today. These patented tools are designed with the professional in mind to save time and effort and thus save money while delivering perfect results every time. After an overall view of the tools in use on the job site, we'll give a detailed description on how each item may be used to the best advantage. The tradesman is now preparing to use the Super Taper, a specially designed tool to make application of the mud to the tape a simple task, which allows the tape to be applied directly to the wall. The workers are now on a scissor scaffold and note that the bucket of mud and super taper are on the scaffolding with them. Note the adjustable opening on the super taper which controls the amount of mud applied to the tape and adjusts simply by using the convenient thumb screw. Note the ease with which the tape is applied and the small amount of mud being gathered on the wiping knife. More mud can be used if desired by simply opening the gate. Tape is easily applied around pipes. The super taper is ideal for fire taping, as will be discussed later. Next, we see the corner flusher, which is ideal for pressing the tape into the corners and smoothly wiping down the mud. Note the ease with which the three-way corners are finished, leaving them ready for the finished coat. The finish coat is now being applied by means of the corner tube and the corner applicator. Once again being flushed with a 3 inch corner flusher, leaving a precise clear corner with no need to pick excess mud out. Now for a more detailed description of the tools you'll see displayed here. The mixing paddles, the corner tube, the corner flushers, the super taper, the belt and bucket. First we begin with the super speed mixer. This mixing paddle has an extra bar added allowing for quicker and smoother mixing of the drywall compound, the mud, which must be mixed to the proper consistency for the best application. A one half inch reversible drill is desired, though not necessary for this operation, as the super speed mixer is more aggressive due to the extra twist on the bars that tends to splash the mud over the side of the bucket if care is not taken. The reverse action, when starting to mix the mud, prevents this. We can mention here that the corners on the speed mixer are rounded off so as not to gouge the bucket and the third bar allows for easy mixing. The swirling action created by the three bars gives a consistent mix from top to bottom. There is no variation in the mud mix. Observe what happens when the drill is not reversed when the additional water is added. It will splash over the side.
When being used with the super taper, the mud should be mixed to the consistency of pancake batter. It will pour, but don't have it too runny. The best consistency is the one shown here. The Super Taper. This tool was designed by experienced drywallers and is the result of many years of effort to improve the drywalling process. It consists of a simple compact design and lightweight aluminum construction. The Super Taper is quick and easy to load. It attaches directly to a five gallon mud pail, making it extremely portable and perfect for large areas, confined spaces, scaffold work where reloading other tapers would be awkward or dangerous. The super taper belt and bucket are easy to use for either left or right handed tradesmen. Rubber gloves should be worn to prevent any skin irritation. The tape is easily pulled into the bucket until the desired amount is reached. Up to 250 feet of tape can be used at one filling. The mud is only applied to the front side of the tape as it comes out of the super taper, but when it is pressed into the waste bucket, both sides become coated with mud. Now the clip is attached to the wide part of the pail, and we're ready to go to work. The tradesman is working at a much slower pace than he normally would, just to give the viewer ample time to see how the tape is being applied to the joints. A normal day's work would see one person applying up to eight 500-foot rolls per day. Productivity has been tested at 30 to 50 percent faster using the super taper as compared to other methods. It is extremely versatile, perfect for work in tight places and for around quarters. Its portability makes it perfect for scaffold work or around pipes and duct work. One of the Super Taper's strengths is that it's a very efficient way to do all your fire taping, especially in those high awkward spots. Note how easy it is to tape around pipes. After the parallel joints are covered, the joints can be wiped clean with a knife and bread pan. This scene is an example of too little mud on the tape. As an option, when we observe the next worker, he will use a 10-inch blade and feather the excess mud into the bevel as he proceeds. As illustrated here, you get a good idea of how much mud would be on the tape. 
you need to be sure that there are no missed spots as this would cause bubbles to appear when the tape is dried on the wall. You likewise do not want too much mud as this would cause waste as well as being sloppy. Notice how he attaches the bucket now. Press the tape lightly with your finger as you move along the wall. Here's a good illustration of how to patch a hole in the wallboard. You take a bit of tape and you bundle it up. Then you press it into the hole. Then you apply a band-aid. And there it is. The next morning when you arrive at work, it will be as strong as the wallboard itself. When the roll of tape is used up, it's quite simple to install a new roll, as illustrated here. Simply lift the taper out of the bucket and thread the new roll through and you're ready to roll again. Once again, we can note how simple it is to patch a tear in the wallboard paper. It's very simple to use the super taper when working from stilts. But what's really amazing is to see a 68-year-old man working in this way. The pail of mud can be placed on any suitable object so it can be easily reached in order to fill the waste bucket. Notice the simple motion needed to apply the tape to the ceiling joints. Hold one high and stretch the tape with a slapping motion and keep moving steadily along. Of course these joints have to be wiped before the corners can be started.
Once again, take note of the ease with which the tape is applied to the corners, using the same stretching motion on the tape to ensure that it's tight. To press the tape into the corners, we now go to the corner flusher. Normally a 2 inch flusher is used at this time. You see how easily it smooths the corners? Especially notice the three way corners. We do have a 45 degree angle flusher, but unfortunately it was not available at the time of this filming, so we cannot demonstrate its usage. The same easy strokes apply to wipe 45 degree angles clean. Notice how this next worker takes advantage of the wide knife for wiping flat surfaces. No need for a bread pan. He just feathers the mud into the bevel. As you come to a three-way corner, simply tear the tape and overlap it with the other tape. When you run out of tape, simply overlap and carry on. The great advantage of the super taper isn't being able to work in cramped quarters, as for example in this closet. Also, this applies to the use of the corner flusher. Once again, note how the three-way corners are done. Back the flusher into the corner, then pull the mud away, leaving the corners clean. Here we want to illustrate 
what to do when the mud gets low in the pail. Simply tilt the pail, resting it on the taper arm, and in that way the pail is emptied. Ah, the end of the day. And now it's time to go home. No need to wash the super taper though. Simply clean the excess mud off with your hand. Place it in a plastic bag. Tie up the top and ready for you to go to work the next day. We don't recommend the use of such a makeshift scaffold, but for the purpose of illustrating how adaptable a person can be with a super taper, we've included it. A person is able to work under the most adverse conditions. We recommend a light sanding using the super sander. Notice the swivel head and quick attach clips as opposed to wing nuts. Now, before the final coat of mud can be applied in the corners, we must allow the tape application to dry and then be sanded. The super sander is lightweight and easy to use and will be described more fully later in the video. This tradesman is illustrating the flexibility of the angle at which the super sander can be used. Finally, we come to the corner tube and the corner tube applicator, the means by which the second and final coat of mud is applied to the corners. Normally, all the flat joints are finished before finishing corners. Draw the mud up into the tube. And then move steadily along, slowly depressing the handle. The corner applicator leaves a trail of mud on either side of the corner, which once again is smoothed out and spread with a corner flusher. The tool that you're looking at this time is called the corner flusher. The corner flusher is used to keep the corners smooth and ready for sanding and painting.
Due to the improved efficiency of this tool, a second coat is not required. The corner tube is easy to clean up at the end of the day. Simply submerge the applicator in water and pump until clean. better than ever tools. These tools are designed by professionals for professionals. Designed to make drywall tape application easier, faster, and more cost effective. Designed to save you time and money. See your nearest authorized dealer today. Remember, the Super Speed Mixer. The third bar and extra twist results in smoother, speedier mixing of the drywall compound, attaining the right consistency every time. The Super Taper, compact, light, portable, quick and easy to load and can be used by more than one worker at a time. The Super Taper is excellent for use in hard to get at places such as the cubby hole displayed. It's also a must for taping around pipes and other fire taping requirements. Such as viewed in this high up area. The super taper bucket and belt makes using the super taper easy. The corner flusher and the corner flusher handle wipe corners clean and smooth. Only one coat of mud is required after the tape has been applied and then the corners are ready for sanding and painting. 
The corner tube and the corner tube applicator applies the single coat of mud easily and speedily. And finally, the Super Sander, essential for the best results. Designed for ease of use, its lower pivot point is closer to the surface being worked on, offering you better control of the sander and eliminating sander flip. Sander flip can cause gouges in the wallboard, necessitating time-consuming repairs. The Super Sander, the best by test. Better than ever tools the tools to meet every drywaller's needs. Order today.